Hello folks. So I just wanted to uh, make a video. Uh, I couldn't find much information. I tried googling and looking at uh, other videos about mold on lenses, specifically vintage lenses. So here I have a lens I'm working on. It's a Yashica, Yashica, I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Uh, 50 millimeter f 1.4 um, the rear element has or had a little bit of mold on it so I've cleaned away the mold I've tried to clean it away I've used a bunch of different chemicals and um, here's the the rear element uh, I'm just showing it here that's the one that's problematic well, I've used all kinds of chemicals at this point I you know I have nothing to lose really I bought this lens so it came with a camera I was more interested in the camera but it was more of an experiment too I wanted to see if I can get off get the uh, the mold off or what everyone refers to is that the mold if it sits on the glass it will stain the glass so you know is it really stained is it calcified on there or what is the exact situation um, so I wanted to to see exactly to find out what uh, what really happens. So what I did is I've taken the uh, this lens and I've put it under the microscope um, to see exactly what the uh, what the situation is. Um, so here's the uh, the lens. Uh, just took a macro photo um, of the little tree where the mold was just sitting there and it just grew um, so like I said at this point I've already tried to clean it I used a lot of different you know alcohols and the, the lighter the lighter stuff and then I've used some heavy-duty chemicals as well uh, thinking that you know maybe it's uh, it's just calcified on there or stain maybe you can remove the stain but again, don't use a lot of chemicals. Don't use things like that because it will dissolve the uh, the coatings on the lens. But like I said, for me it was more of an experiment. Experiment. I wanted to see what uh, what's going on. Now I personally won't buy any lenses with mold. Uh, you'll find a lot on eBay. Um, so I do have quite a collection. I've. Uh, been able to find uh, really good deals locally and you know I bought some on eBay as well but the issue with eBay um, a lot of sellers will not tell the, tell you that the lenses have already been serviced um, and that's an issue uh, to me because they've been serviced they try to clean the mold already uh, the mold left some uh, marks behind um, they won't tell you that they'll just say it's so oh, it's just got some dust um, but you know if you try to clean it yourself if you open it up uh, if you're a little bit handy you want to open it and clean it uh, you won't be able to get it off you won't be able to get the so-called dust off so you have to be careful if you do buy vintage lenses um, anywhere on ebay or you know they are 50, 60 years old, so obviously you're gonna have some issues. So here are some of the lenses that I have in my collection. Uh, some have, you know, there are various stages. You know, some are very clean, some have some dust, and if you service them, uh, you'll be able to remove a lot of the dust. But you know, if you're not in a sterile environment, you know, you're still gonna have a lot of little particles in there. So here's the uh, the little lens, the little tree I showed earlier under the microscope. At uh, this is 800 times magnification, so it looks like it's little pits. It's the glass; it's pitted. Uh, so the coating is not really uh, stained. It's basically chewed away. I'm not sure how uh, how that happens. How the mold. Uh, maybe the acidity in the mold or you know whatever the mold it, uh, it, it basically just etches the uh, it destroys the the coating on the glass so this is the uh, setup that I have there now this is again that little tree at uh, 200 times magnification um, so yeah it's just little pits everywhere just pits everywhere 
that's just the edge of the uh, the element uh, how it's been grinded um, cut um, but yeah so it just looks like little pits when it's magnified but when you're you know just looking at it with, uh, with your naked eye or even a small magnification it just looks like it's a uh, you know just stained here's the uh, 80 times magnification so you can see that little tree now I apologize for the shaking and the darkness here I'm just holding my phone up to the uh, the eyepiece of the microscope um, so there's that little tree there that's just basically how uh, how it looks uh, this little tree here so that's just basically what what it looks like uh, again this is just a macro of it I use the macro lens to take a close-up of it it's it's really tiny it's it's very hard to see even with the naked eye so this this, this is a great magnification but yeah that's what it looks like so if you do buy vintage lenses uh, don't buy anything with mold you won't be able to clean it uh, and yeah just be careful uh, look at the pictures see if it's been serviced or ask the seller if it's been serviced all right that's it for this one